Hi there, and congratulations on your Flus purchase. In this video, we delve deeper into the Devices section of the Flus app. When your Flus app is open and you are in range of a Flus device, the Flus icon on your cell phone screen will appear blue and have the relevant device name showing. For the sake of this video, our device is named Flus One. In the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you will see the profile icon. This we have already set up during the previous tutorial. To the left of the profile icon, you will see share access. And again, to the left of that, you will see the devices icon. When the My Devices icon is selected, it displays all the Flux devices owned by you as the administrator or main user. For the purpose of this video, we have three devices listed, named Flus 1, Flus 2, and Flus 3. Below the My Devices list, you will see the Shared Devices section. This section is where all the other Flus devices that you have received an invitation to access has been listed. Don't worry if there isn't anything listed yet. That simply means that no one has invited you to access their Flus device. If there are devices listed in the Shared Devices section, you'll be able to see who has invited you. In the example used here, you will notice that I was invited by Tom Davies to access Flus headquarters. Let's return to the My Devices section. Select Flus 1. A screen where you can name the device will appear. We suggest that you use a meaningful and descriptive name here. For example, Matt's front gate or Michelle's office garage. We didn't follow our own advice and blandly named the device Flus 1. Nevertheless, Upon selection of Plus One, you can see the name field along with the user who has access to this device. Here you see the phone number of the owner of this device. You also see that Tom Davis was invited as a visitor by Jack Black. In this instance, Jack Black is the owner of this phone as well as Plus One. You can select Tom Davies and see what type of access he has. You can update his access or even revoke his access. When you look at the type of access that Tom has, you'll see that he may access the Plus One device on a Tuesday, a Thursday and a Friday at any time of day or night. To change his access time, select the time field. Change the start time to your preferred time and select OK and repeat this for the end time. Select Save and then select Save Access before you continue. It's important to note you must select Save first and then select Save Access before you continue. This process can be repeated on all of your Flus devices. So we can select Flus 2 as well as select Flus 3 and go through the same process to invite people to change their access, to change their times, even revoke access. And this concludes this video. You have now seen what the Flus devices section is all about.